Project Tic Tac. What is it? What do we stand for? Project Tic Tac is started by myself, Ryan Bird, and my colleague here, Alden Kane, to help U of D Jesuit students get out of that struggle of poor time management. What is our goal? To totally eradicate poor time management among U of D Jesuit students. Now before we explore the details of our movement, Project Tic Tac, it's an important question to ask how this movement came to be. Now, a year ago, Ryan and I were in a very dark place. I remember the days where I'd come home and do nothing for five hours, and then find myself at 2 a.m. studying for a quiz or a test or writing a paper. I was the king of Turnitin, branded by Mr. Bix, for famously turning in all my papers at 4 a.m. in the morning. But then, sophomore year came around, and I found Alden. And Alden found me. And we founded Project Tic Tac. To organize our thoughts on poor time management, we separated the topic into three key sects. First and foremost, procrastination. Now, procrastination is when a student will put off doing work out of sheer laziness, and he'll instead do something very trivial and a waste of time. We took a poll and 84% of students at U of D said that they procrastinate on a regular basis. Now how can we solve procrastination? First things first that we thought of is that one, a teacher could give maybe extra credit or extra points on an assignment if it's turned in early. This would encourage students to get to work fast and, and uh, turn it in early. Second of all, students need to commit themselves to removing technology from their homework location. So if you're sitting there on your phone and doing homework, you're going to work less effectively and less efficiently. Now the second main sect of poor time management is poor scheduling. This happens among all Cubs. Poor scheduling occurs when you simply don't have enough time to do something because of your scheduling errors. It is a finite amount of time in a day. In this, in this finite amount causes poor scheduling. Now to eliminate poor scheduling, extensive use of the planner needs to be used. And also, every Sunday night it would be well advised if all Cubs would make a little outline of their week, including all projects, papers, homework assignments that they know of to be completed throughout the week so they can get everything done on time. The last sect of poor time management is responsibility awareness. Now, Every U of D student has been in that class when the, the, the bell rings, they're sitting down, and the teacher says, okay, gentlemen, pass up last night's homework. And all you can think of is, there was no homework. I don't, what, when was that announced? And so you don't know. It's a horrible feeling. How can we get around that? Well, some teachers already have gotten around that. Mr. Bookta, for example, at the beginning of each unit, he passes out a calendar, pretty much, that sums up the whole unit and each day it gives you the homework that is assigned and due the next day. For that reason, no one has any reason to have not done their homework assignment because they've been <coughs> notified of it in advance. Also, extensive use of the Moodle page as seen with Ms. Godwin, she has the whole semester planned out as of the beginning of the year. So you know what the schedule is and you can plan accordingly. Now we encourage you to visit our website www dot project tiktok dot wix dot com slash time dash management